Timmy, let's talk first about Namala. We know Toronto is the most multicultural city in the world. We know what a vast South Asian population there is in Toronto. What's it going to be like to see Namala hopefully one day playing in Toronto, the first player of Indian descent trying to crack the majors? Yeah, you know what, we, we just had uh, a story about how he kind of find his swing uh, playing cricket. And uh, less than a month ago, the Jays had what I believe to be the first ever cricket day in Major League Baseball. Add in, you know, the legend, the Wendy's legend, Chris Gale, uh, roaming the parts of, uh, of Rogers Center, kind of uh, walking around and showing off his swing. And listen, Arjun may have started with cricket, but this is a legit baseball player, born and raised in Tampa. There is no doubt that this kid at 17 years old is dare I say it two years away from being two years away <laughs> but the potential of a kid with this kind of swing and this kind of impact in Toronto is legitimately real I mean listen you got to be a player there's a long way to go but if he in fact makes it in Toronto as you know given uh the cultural heritage in this in this city and, and kind of the, the draws um, to cricket and along those lines. I, I think this guy could be a legit big time star and someone that could bring in um, different and new audiences to Toronto. Not that they're struggling in that way, shape or form. Uh, there's obviously a draw already with the Jays in Toronto, but this could definitely add to it if he is able to realize that upside, especially with the bat. Yeah, notable dignitaries like Sunil Thackelkar. I'm very excited, I'm sure. By the way, you just threw in the two years away from being two years away. Fran Frischilla line, who was the Raptor he said that about? Was it Bruno Caboclo? Uh, Bruno yeah. Caboclo was yeah. the two <laughs> years away from being two years. I think he's still two years away, I admit. <laughs> All-time great line. We'll discuss Rafael Arujo another time. How about trade deadline for the Blue Jays? Uh, Dan Plesek was saying to me, Timmy, they should get another reliever. He goes, one more guy to go Swanson, then Romano. I would argue maybe a bat because we've seen the disappointment of Alejandro Kirk and Danny Jansen. Varsho, great defensively, but offensively has been an issue. What do you think? What do you think they should be doing come deadline time? Yeah, it feels like the whole world is looking for a reliever. Anyone who has a shot this year right now is looking for a reliever. I, I would put the Jays in there. I mean, they, Ross Atkins, the GM of the team, spoke to the media yesterday and mentioned Chad Green and the availability of him down the stretch. And you wonder if that couldn't be looked at as their trade deadline pickup to fortify the bullpen. And while the Jays, uh, you know, fan base is looking for a starting pitcher I don't think they have the prospect capital to get anything meaningful done there I think they're they're looking at Alec Manoa they're looking at Hyunjin Ryu and saying if Hyunjin Ryu has a quality start on Friday in Buffalo AAA then maybe we can start getting a look at him at the major league level and have two pitchers for that spot and again fill that deadline need internally I'm with you and in fact Ross Atkins said as much they might be looking for a right-handed bat which is kind of sort of ironic. Their numbers against lefties this year are just not good enough, Adnan. And this is a spot that they need to fill. But ironically, they felt like a guy like Teoscar Hernandez or Lourdes Gurriel Jr. was either expendable and or a necessity to part with in order to get better this year. And that's kind of exactly like the bat that they would want back in a deal. So uh, the Jays are in a real pickle here because they're going to add something. This is a real kind of turning point for this fan base because they seem to be a little bit upset with where the Jays are right now, even though they're only five and a half back in the division and in the top division at that. All right, last one for you, Timmy. Starting pitching. Alec Manoa, we know what a great guy he is. Third in signing voting a season ago. Everybody's rooting for him. One great start against the Tigers, then he struggled against the Padres. Where are the Jays right now on Manoa? Yeah, I think that they are in a spot where they're going to see what they got. And I think that Alec Manoa is a work in progress. And that's tough to say. I understand it. When you see a guy finish third in the AL and Cy Young voting, and you say that he's a work in progress, this happens time to time. We forget that Alec's time in the minor leagues because of the pandemic, because there were no minor league seasons, was so short that he didn't really have a chance to taste any adversity. And that adversity that he's tasting right now is tough. Uh, I don't know that he'll end up on the other side. What I do know is that the Jays are bound to find out. Like, they are bound and determined to find out. If he can't do it, then it's Hyunjin Ryu who can come up from the minors in his rehab from Tommy John, and maybe he can fill that spot. But Manoa is in that spot where we've seen other guys before. Listen, Sandy Alcantara hasn't done what you thought he could do after what he did in the last little... It's, it's not... 
Jays fans have seen it in Doc Holiday before. Kevin Gossman was talking about how he and Chris Bassett had gone through this before. I know it's a shock to the system, but this ain't as tough as skiing through a revolving door. I think Alec Manoa is close, and I think that he just needs to find that spot where he was last year, and I think it might be confidence and being able to deal with the adversity that he's seen this year. Tim McCall, formerly of Tim and Friends and now Sportsnet Central. And of course, I'm lucky to be one of Tim's friends decades now. By the way, Tim, if you ever get down to Secaucus, New Jersey, we've talked about this before, a long-awaited tennis match. We haven't played in 13 years. John Heyman, also a big tennis guy. So we get one more. That's a hell of a doubles match. Nice. Uh, Adnan Verk, the ultimate Michael Chang. Just gets it back. Just a little bit of a pusher. Very frustrating, but effective. But effective. 20, 27-shot rallies just wearing each other out. Great stuff, Timmy, as always. Thanks, man. Hey, always great talking to you.